This week on Warriors and Company. Because we now have people watching debates differently, they're watching debates on social media. Yeah, about, this is a big year for Twitter. It's a huge year for social media, including Twitter. And what that means is we had about two-thirds of the electorate, two-thirds of, of the population, excuse me, adult population, watching at least one debate. And about 20% of those watched while they were engaging in some form of social media. We have very tentative evidence that suggests that when you reported doing that, and we put all the controls in place, so education and age, all the things that might affect knowledge, your level of knowledge about the debates drops. That is, your ability to make accurate distinctions drops. When Indeed, you're watching the debate and... Through social media. And well, how do you explain that? Explain it because you're, in fact, being distracted. We all think we multitask well, and the best research says that we no actually longer. don't. I don't. <laughs> and so to the extent that you are focusing on something, first, that, that commentary stream is framing things for you. So you're now seeing through someone else's lens, or you're trying to create your own lens if you're the one who's tweeting, instead of engaging in the content. But secondly, you're being distracted from the content. So as you're reacting, you're not processing useful information. We have fundamentally, in this new social media environment, change the way in which a discernible part of the population is absorbing content and they're not getting as much out of the debates we suspect as they might otherwise. What are they learning? Big Bird, Binders, and Bayonets. One, two, three. But consider the possibility that through social media they are actually getting useful additional information. For example, mm -hmm. uh, during the fourth debate when uh, Mitt Romney demonstrated that there was no difference between him and President Obama on any issue, Bill Maher tweeted, uh, the same as, as the other guy, only I'm white, <laughs> as a summary for what Mitt Romney's position is. And it struck me as a brilliant, concise description of how race is an undertone in this election and uh, that going to Romney is a safer choice for people who at some level have been made uncomfortable by this president. That would never have been an element of the on-screen debate. Arguably, it's, it's an irrelevancy to what was going on, but I would contend that it's entirely relevant to the conduct of the entire campaign. <laughs>